All right, hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Violet. Now this is going to be episode number 12. So last episode we battled a Titan. This episode we are going to take on the Fire Star boss. So thanks again for joining us. And um, if you like this video or videos like, uh, if you want us to make more videos like this, please consider subscribing. So um, in the algorithms, it shows that there are 90 some percent of you that watch the video but aren't subscribed. So um, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button and comment. Let us know um, what videos, what gameplays you would like us to play. So um, let's see what we got here. All right, so our Pokemon are in the level 20s and I think I'm going to battle this guy and kind of see what um, what he's got and see how we do with him and then I'm gonna head on over to that Pokestop so that way we can fly there when we need to and then um, maybe level up a little bit and head on over to that fire star boss all right so this janitor he sent out um, a little poison type Pokemon and we are going to let's see we're gonna do dragon breath and see what that does okay so it brought him down a little bit now let's see what he's got okay not too bad not too bad now we're gonna go to disarming voice see if that does a little better than dragon breath and go from there all right, so not very effective. So now um, I'm gonna try, whoops, not to steal his Pokemon because that wouldn't work anyway, but I'm gonna try Fury Attack. I think this attack does at least two attacks, um, sometimes more. All right, so that's working pretty good. And the next one I'm gonna do is Disarming Voice because it doesn't do much damage anyway and we don't have too much to bring him down. All right, and we got, we made that little little thing faint. And let's see if he's got any more because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay, so he doesn't. So we defeated him. Yay, now we are on our way. He gave us a um, 1,564 um, dollars in cash. And now we're just gonna keep walking. Oh, look at that little teddy bear. Look at that little teddy bear right there. Okay, I don't think we have that little guy, but I'm going to... Ooh, he was running away. I wonder if it's a ditto. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was a teda... Tedasora? Tedasora? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, we are going to battle this little guy maybe I can catch him okay so that didn't do too much damage so we will set that aside for a different time and I'm going to use fury attack see if that'll bring him down into the red okay he did baby doll eyes so that made my attack fall so fury attack there we go that's not doing too much either so I'm gonna head on up to dragon breath and see if this dragon move. Okay, so that did a little bit more. I'm gonna do that one more time. And then hopefully that should get him in the red. Almost, almost. So now I'm probably going to do disarming voice. That shouldn't do too much. Okay, perfect. Now he's down in the red, and we should be able to catch this little guy. So I press on the button a lot. I don't know if that's a hack. I don't know if it works, but I do it just to do it. And sometimes, most of the time, it works. And when I say button, I mean um, on the Switch controller, it would be button A. All 
right, so we got Teddy Ursa. Yay, now let's head over here. Okay, um, try to help me keep an eye out for some shiny Pokemon. I think I'm gonna do this little, um, this little raid right here. I don't have this account that I'm using set up with um, the online stuff. And so I am just going to challenge alone and then it'll um, just throw some NPCs in there. I guess it's called NPCs. I'm sure someone will let me know. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then I really like this character's like eyes. It is a um, it might be either burgundy or like pink. I think it's cute. All right, now. We are going to attack um, this little bug type Pokemon. And when you do these raids, these terror raids, um, when you beat the Pokemon, you have the option to catch it. And it also gives you a ton of loot. So if you see these and you're able to, go do it. Because it'll give you some loot. All right, so this uh, dragon breath didn't do too much um, to this little bug. I'm gonna do round. I can't remember what it does, but uh, we shall see. All right, so that took it down a little bit. And I'm gonna do that one more time. Um, he's attacking me right now, but it's not doing too much damage. So we're gonna do round again. And then we're gonna see if, um, okay, so, and then someone else did rock throw so I think that works good on bug Pokemon is um, ground type all right so now the um, Terra crystallization which that's probably not what it's called but I think it is the Terra crystallization is broken now we have the option to catch this little guy so I'm gonna throw a normal you know regular pokeball at it it's gonna like turn into like this little crystal thing and then it's gonna catch this Pokemon. So when we catch these Pokemon like this, they are not able to um, break loose. At least I haven't seen it happen. And I've watched a few. Now you can see that we got all these rewards. So we got some XP candy, um, we got some different items here and you get quite a bit. So it's definitely worth it to go to these little raids. These little, um, like this one I believe was a den, but some of them are just the like actual Pokemon. So you just have to look and see if it's a den or if it's just like a Pokemon with the Terra um, crystallization thing. All right, so since I didn't have this guy, he was added to our Pokédex and sent to the box because I have it to where it automatically sends it to the box it doesn't ask me if I want to nickname them because that just takes too much time. And I don't want you guys to have to wait around while I think of little nicknames for this. But I was thinking about once I am done and I um, beat this game, I was thinking about going back through and trying to do a shiny only um, playthrough. Now... I heard that obviously you can't um, start out with shiny um, with the main ones, but um, I think it'd be cool to just like battle everything with shiny Pokemon and that will be super hard to try to find shiny Pokemon and it would take a lot of time. So if I do that in the future and if that's something that you're interested in, I would definitely speed up um, certain parts of it to where you guys didn't have to wait around for hours for me to find a shiny Pokemon. We're going to use Fury Attack on this Slowpoke. And because I can't remember what um, what works with him. Okay, so my Fury Attack just got disabled by Slowpoke. So now we're going to do Dragon Breath. Alright, so Breath dragon breath um dragon breath um kind of knocked him down about halfway and now he is using confusion on me 
and of course that caused me to be confused. So hopefully I can hit him another time with this dragon breath before I end up hitting myself and have to switch out Pokemon. Okay, so I am able to hit him with dragon breath. Now that did not bring him down all the way. So I'm gonna try it one more time. And if my Pokemon ends up hitting itself because it's confused, oh, like it just did, then I am going to swap it out with a different, with a different Pokemon. So let's go down to, um, we'll try Rock Ruff, um, because I think it's somewhat nighttime. So if he can beat this Slowpoke, he might level up. And if not. I do have some candies to give him to try to level up. I believe it's level 26 where he evolves. We shall see. Okay, we're gonna do Rock Tomb, which is a ground type. All right, so that did good. And now Slowpoke has fainted. I'm not sure if this little cook, okay, so we defeated the cook. Oh, Rock Ruff just leveled up to level 26. Now let's see, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. 1700 in prize. Okay, so let's see if he's going to evolve. Well, it looks like he's not, so maybe it's level 30. I'm not sure. I'm kind of confused right now. Let's go to the bag and go over to this candy section and give him a small um, experience point. Okay, that gave him 800. Now I'm gonna give him all three of these. And that only gave him 300. Okay, so that's fine, that's fine. We're just gonna go. Um, okay, before we even try to take on the boss, I'm looking to see if any of these, if that thing is shiny. I think these come in pink. Oh no, I don't want you little piggy. Alright. So I think um the pig ones come in pink if they're shiny. And then that other little thing, I forgot what it was. Like the stripes, I believe, are pink if it's a shiny. Oh look at there. That's so cute. What is it? Uh oh. Well, it's one. That I didn't think it was going to. I didn't think Swablu was going to win. All right, now we're going. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon, and we we're just gonna take. A, we're we're gonna try, and we're gonna see if we can battle these um fire type. Now I don't think that my main Pokemon, my starter Pokemon, will do good since it's Grass type. And grass type is terrible against fire type because fire type is grass's weakness. So I'm going to switch up the layout of these. We're gonna move this. This one's gonna be the party leader. Um, okay, so since I can't remember if ground type is better or if electric is better. I'm just gonna move the ground type in that position. Okay, Rock Rough is kind of lower, so I'm gonna move him. So it's gonna be Ember, Lexio, and Mudbree. And these are the ones that I'm gonna try because I believe it's three main ones, if I remember correctly, from our last star battle. So I'm gonna go pick this up. So if I had water type, I would definitely put that water type out because um, fire type's weakness is water. Um, I'm gonna try to catch this little guy right here. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Oh, well. Oh no, oh no, so he did not do good. Oh, whoops. That one did not do good. Now let me, dang it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, switch out this one. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna try to catch this. 
So let let Leo's. All right, we're gonna battle. We're gonna do a a stomp. I don't know how much damage the stomp is gonna do. And it looks like um, this ground type seems to probably do good on the fire type that I'm battling right now. And once I catch this little guy, um, I'm gonna put him in the box by. Ooh, that was close. That was a close one. Alright. We caught it. We caught Lelio. So, um, I'm trying to see what level was he? Level 20? Um, I don't think he will do good because he's only a level 20. But I'm gonna, um, level, or not level up. Let's see which one, because now I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. I might just, yeah, I'm going to move this up here. Um, I'm going to heal, auto heal that. I'm going to auto heal this one. I know I'm close to the pokey center, but that's okay. Now I'm going to hop on my little motorcycle. And we'll get this later. Because I know I'm going to have to... Oop. No, I don't want to run into you. Now, we are going to... Uh, let's look on our map. Oh, well, never mind. We are going in the right direction because... Looky there. Now, I kind of think this is the director. But we're just going to pretend like we don't think it is. And we're going to call him Cleve. Clive? Clive, maybe. <laughs> anyway, yep, it's me, Clive, the normal academic academy student. Yeah, I don't think so. I think he's wearing a wig, and I think it's the director. Anyway, Lily, I owe you one. So he, if we remember, he was at the last star boss, and um, oh, sorry, uh, been accepted into the operation of Starfall. You, why did you join? Uh, I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with the Team Star? And what's causing its members to add, um, odd behavior? Its members' odd behavior. What situation? Um, subject of a few nasty s rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Um, bullying... Uh, they are holding up in their base, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. Um, the matter I directly confronted with is something else. Huh. Okie doke. I'm not reading all this. Just kind of skimming through. But if you guys want to read it, you can pause it and, and do that. So... Um, this is why I took it upon myself to issue the direct order to Team Star to disband. Okay, the information that should they refuse, I have no choice then to expel all students affiliated with the team. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, that little, like, Evie backpack girl, like, who is she? Who is she? What is her, what is her plot? Is she one of, is she the main boss of the stars? That's what I'm wondering. I could be totally off. Maybe she's not anything. But I have a feeling that she's super strong. And I could be totally wrong on all this. <laughs> but we shall see. Okay, so, um, nobody. All right, now we're going to go up there. We're probably going to battle a couple people. And while we're doing that, I'm going to be quiet. So. And we will battle. If you don't clear out... Okay, so I lied. I'm going to talk. 
if you don't clear out real quick, um, I'm gonna come at you in self-defense. You, you get me? I'm not turning back. So go ahead, bring it on. He's doing like, he's acting weird. Like what is that? What kind of? Oh, okay. So he's doing his little star, his little star dance. Okay. So you challenge Team Star Grunt. All right. So you send out Handor, Houndor, and we're sending out Mudbury. Now Mudbury, Mudbury, Mudbury needs to do bulldoze. Let's see what that does. Okay. Ooh, there we go. That. That um one shot at him. Okay, and our little Swablu um leveled up. Oh, so we, let's see, we gotta Who wants to learn a move? Oh, Swablu, Swablu. Um wants to learn a normal move and this move is says it uses the user creates a protective field that protects status um conditions for five turns. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I want it though. We'll do that later. So we're not gonna put that move in there. Okay, so I defeated him. That was not that hard, actually. And he's, man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. We are at war. Aw, thanks for the trouble news. Okay. Okay, so then he ends with his little star dance. My goodness. Hey, Lily. Okay, is this gonna be a lot of talking again? All right, so we're at the team fire base. All right, um, I'm gonna go in. Oh, looky, look at there. So, foo, foo. <gasps> well, is that you, Carlos? True. I thought so. What are you doing here? Um, is this your, is this Pokemon yours? Uh, this is Carlos, the car, Caradetta. Yeah, we got one. But ours is called Ember. Okay, okie doke. Ah, Carlos, wait. He ran off. It looks like, um, okay. Do he's gonna regroup and press on ahead, Lily, into the base. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, now I'm getting a phone call. Alright, now if this is anything like the other one, I'm just gonna run in there. I'm gonna have three main Pokemon, and they are gonna battle for about 10 minutes or less. However long it's gonna take me to, um, like, make 30 of them faint or kill them or whatever you wanna call it. But, um, I think since this is rated G, pretty much, um, that they just faint. And I say rated G, but it's not rated G. It'd be rated E for everyone. All right, now let's go in here. Are we ready? Oh, hey. Um, let me check my Pokemon, actually. Oh, they are all healed up. So, yep, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, so Cleave is going with me. Okay, kid lucked out, yada yada yada. Gate crashers, okay, yep. You can beat 30 of the Pokemon in 10 minutes. And then um, once I do that, then they will allow me to battle their boss. And I believe if we see a machine that we can heal up our Pokemon. All right, so whoops, this way, Mudbury. Oh, and sheets. Alright, now there's some 
I don't know if he will do good. Okay, I guess he's doing alright. Okay, so here's some more. Oh, there's the little turtles. The little turtles. Aren't they cute? Okay, so so far, it's doing good. We are... Oops. If I can maneuver the camera. Um... We got 11 of them, 12, and we're going 13. Now we're gonna head over here, see if we can find some more. Okay, they just threw some more out. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. Get some more. We got eight minutes and forty-five seconds to go. Oh, here's some down here. I wonder well these are mostly all about the same kind. It's the hound the hound um hound doors. There's some over here. We're up to 24. It's going to be 25 and 26. And... Okay, here we go. Here's some. The little turtles. The turtles. And... Um, what's the other one? A Growlithe. Alright, we have one more. We got one more to, to take care of. Oh, here he is. And then we can battle the boss. Boss lady. I think it's a lady. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's all up to you, boss. So hers is like more of a reddish color. I'm guessing because it's fire. All right, so we're just going to battle. Battle this little guy or girl or whatever. Let's see what she's gonna say now. Oh, her boots are kind of crazy. Look at those. Oh, okay, so it's the turtle. I'm wondering how many Pokemon she's got, because I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it'll say. Okay, so she's got two, so she must have the car thing and the turtle. All right, we're gonna do bulldoze. Okay, it says it's super effective, but it didn't really do too much. So he did flame well, and now I'm burned. And that did somewhat decent damage. So I think we did bulldoze last time. Let's see what we got here. How about we do um, double kick? Okay, that hardly did anything. And I hit two times. So round does better. Okay, now uh, this little mud breed just fainted. Now we are going to, what's next in line? Um, do, do, do. We are not going to use mittens if we, if we don't have to. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We're gonna, oh, well, no, I probably shouldn't do rock work yet. All right, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do Lexio. I almost said Shinx. Alright, Lexio is gonna do Thundershock. I am not sure. Okay, so it it did okay. Ooh. I'm gonna do another Thundershock. 
because I can already tell that I'm going to have to revive Little Mudbury and Luxio. Luxio. I always say Luxio. Okay, we're going to go with Ember. I don't know if this fire type can be burned. We're going to do Nightshade. I'm not sure how it'll work. Okay, there we go. So one down, now we probably have to battle that car thing that she's on. But I am definitely going to revive the two Pokemon that fainted. But I'm going to do the best I can with this. So since um, the fire types aren't doing that well, I'm just going to keep on hitting it with this ghost type. Nightshade. Alright, so Mudbury is revived. I'm doing Nightshade again. This is not doing too well, but the good thing about this is that it is knocking it down a little bit. So we're just cutting it down just little bits at a time. And that's better than nothing. And I do like this little ember here. Um, I'm excited to see what the evolution to it will be. to swap it out with Mudbury. Hopefully Mudbury is not going to be one shot. Um, I'm going to try to, depending on what he gets hit with, uh, we're going to see what we're going to go for. Okay, Swift didn't do too much. So with all that happening, I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to give Mudbury a lemonade. Which is wasting some of it, but whatever. And then I'm going to hit that um, Starmobile with the um, bulldoze or... Oh, dang it. Okay, so that didn't work too well. We're gonna do bulldoze, and hopefully he doesn't- oh, dang it. Overheat. Okay, well. I'm gonna give it another... Bulldoze, come on, come on, come on! Ooh, there we go. So. I'm gonna hit the bag, give him another lemonade, and then hopefully we can bulldoze one more time before we die. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to send someone else in. Uh-oh, blazing torque. Oh, that didn't do too much. It did burn him, though. Alright, so we are gonna hit the bulldoze. If it'll get to it. Okay, so bulldoze. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, so we got him down on the red. I'm gonna just keep hitting that as much as I can. Okay, so Mud Breeze defense keeps raising, which is a good thing about this little guy here. I'm gonna hit him one more time with Bulldoze, and hopefully he doesn't um, knock him out before then. And I know he's burned, so okay, there we go. I think we got it. Awesome. We just beated the star boss, the fire star boss. Now from here, um, there's gonna be, I'm sure, tons of like text stuff. Um, but after we're done with all this, then we are going to go to the Poke Center, heal up our Pokemon, and save. And then in this episode, And since there's a lot of uh, text boxes, I'm not going to read all this because it will take forever. But if you guys want to read it, you can pause and read and then just do that. But I'm not. Um, so I just got the fire badge. Awesome. So I believe that that is two gems, two titans, and two star badges so now i also have the tm flame charge and any of my pokemon that are fire type can't should be able to learn that the way that she's walking looks kind of funny oh look at there So what is your favorite Pokemon in this game, in this generation of Pokemon? So the little um, Carlos there, of course that's his nickname. I think he is like one of my favorites right now and um, that we've come, come across. And I can't wait to see the other ones that um, we're gonna bump into and what new Pokemon is out there in this game. Okay, so like I said, I'm not reading all this. There's just way too much, um, way too much text and it would just take up way too much time. So once all this is done, I'm gonna head on over, like I said, to the Pokey Stop. We're gonna heal up these Pokemon and then we are saving. So if you if you like this episode, please, please, please consider subscribing and um, we would greatly appreciate it. That um, subscribing and liking these videos and commenting on these videos and having interaction is what get these videos out there to more people like you who want to see um, videos like this. So uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. And, um, once I get to the Pokestop, like I said, I'm going to be saving. Oh, okay. So looky here, we got another 6,000 LP. Now we have 34,000. Um, I should be able to buy a few things. <laughs> Okay, so, like, am I the only one who thinks that this girl is sus? Like, Penny, 
I think Penny is sus. But, you know, I do like her Eevee backpack. But I think she, if there's something up with her, I'm not sure what it is. Something's going on. I could be totally wrong. I probably am totally wrong. And I did not look at any, um, any spoilers. So I don't know what's going to go on with her in the future. But anyway. Oh, um, so what, what even is this Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. I don't know what to put there. Oh, she's giving me another reward. Some more Pokemon material. Um, your name's Lily, right? Operation Starfall. Uh, uh, they're not all that. She seems to be saying pretty much the same thing that, um, the one guy was saying, which is probably the director of the academy. Alright, so going to the map, flying over here. so thank you all so much again for staying here and watching us do this gameplay of pokemon violet hopefully in the future i will we will do um pokemon scarlet what i want to do is either once i'm done with this um i want to go back through either violet or play scarlet and do a shiny only um gameplay so where all except for the starters will be shiny Pokemon. So that'll be hard and I think it'll be interesting. And so I won't be catching Pokemon unless they're shiny. Um, but anyway, or maybe maybe I'll make it to where like, I won't be using Pokemon unless they're shiny except for the starter Pokemon because I think they're locked. But I think that'd be fun. Um, thanks again for being here. Thanks again for watching. And we will see you again soon.